Hey everyone, it's Nancy Taylor here. Welcome, welcome to an upper body workout. I am thrilled to have you here. Now I am filming in my office, so I took all of my, like my desk is right here, just shoved it, just shoved it because we're working our upper body and I wanted to have a room. Um, I don't want to clean my front room. <laughs> <laughs> my kids are getting home from school. It's a little bit chaotic out there. So I thought I'm going to film in the office um, and they probably will pop in and that's okay. We're going to get right into it. You need a set of dumbbells or you could have water bottles, anything that adds resistance. So I have 10, no, I have 12 pound dumbbells and 15 pound dumbbells. You could have tens, you could have eights. I am going a little bit heavier. We are working the arms. There are some smaller muscles on the arms. So if you want to grab some lighter dumbbells, um, just in case you need them, that's great. Let's get right into the warm up, and then we will start our workout. You guys ready? I do have a mat for the core at the end. Hi, Sister Bear, what's going on? You're gonna start to squat down and up. Welcome, welcome, Ava. How was school? Ava just got done with school. She's a kindergartner. Huh, what do you think about that? Good, good, good. We're rocking it. I'm trying to figure out if we can film in here. I might have to figure out where to put this table. Ava's drawn on the whiteboard, it'll be great. I'm gonna just move this one so we don't get it erased, okay, cuteness. Okay, keep going now, you're gonna add in a kick. We're gonna get the body nice and warm, and then we're jumping into that upper body. Now we have cardio burst, and I'm going to progress through intermediate advanced levels. So we'll go from one to the other. <laughs> so funny how I'm filming in the office so that I'll be peace and quiet. They always find me. Ooh, I love them. They always find mom. Squat and kick, squat and kick, squat and kick. You guys better go get an after school snack. Dad's got a snack for you, Jack Jack. They're like, the room looks different though. Lunge left, hold, and back up. Lunge left, and back up. Good. Down and up. Down and up. I have to capitalize on the baby sleeping. I'm like, I love to do baby and me workouts. If you're wanting to jump in on some baby and me workouts, I have those on our channel, on this channel as well. Step together, let's do the other leg. It's a little dusty over here, I even swept. Still dusty, it's okay. It's kind of fun figuring out my favorite places to film workouts. Um, I love the adventure, I love the challenge, but I also love to take you guys outside. I'm filming this the last day in February in 2022, and it's starting to get warmer. I'm so excited to take you guys outside. We live pretty, pretty far up into the mountains. Love it. There's like beautiful trails right out our back door. I'm so blessed, so grateful to have them. And I'm so excited to take you guys with me. Step together, okay, we're gonna stretch that calf. Heel to the floor, scoop like big ice cream scoops. Cha, cha, cha. We're gonna do a little dancey make dance dance. That's it. Good, turn it around. Cha, cha, cha. This is my, my first workout of the day. My first, like I always do multiple. I don't. I told a friend I would come to a fitness class tonight. So this is my, it's like three o'clock and I'm nailing my workout. I normally like to hit it first thing in the morning, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's always going to improve your day. No matter what time you do it, no matter if you stay in your fitness clothes all day, it doesn't matter. Just move your body. Just make sure you take time for you. Hi, baby. I love you. Did you get a snack, Jack? Jack, did you get a snack? Oh, it broke. That's okay. Okay, hip flexors. And by hip flexors, I mean hamstring curl. Yeah, just go put it in the garbage, but Yeah, go put it in the garbage. No, in the, in the garbage. Don't, don't break it in here, you're making. It's okay, go hold it over the garbage if you wanna break more crumbles. Okay, if you want, add in a hop. Reach and pull, reach and pull. Good, that's it. I'm feeling I'm gonna kick the wall. You're gonna see all my accent walls in my house. <laughs> They're fun to film in front of. I moved this table used to be against this wall. So, we're gonna see how it works. How are you guys feeling today? Body's feeling good? You never regret showing up for a workout. You never regret it. Show up and I'll take care of the rest. That's all you have to do. Show up, even when you don't want to. You have tumbling today, Ray girl. Did you know that? 
four high knees, three, two, four glute kickers, four, three, two, if you can pick it up, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four high knees, two, one, four, three, 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 two, one, reach. Other side, reach. Heart rate should be up. Should be breathing a little heavier. We're gonna get right into the workout. I want you to be able to do these workouts in efficient time. I don't want them to take forever. I want you to feel good as soon as possible. Now we have those cardio bursts. Reach across, reach across. Because if we get the heart rate up, there's this beautiful chemical change in the brain. Beautiful dopamine, endorphins. I'm so grateful for this microphone because the ceilings are pretty high in this room, just in this room. And so it's really echoey. And so when I have on my microphone and my kids are playing right here, you can hear me better. I was able to invest in a microphone, which I'm so grateful for. Inhale up. Sure, exhale down. Yeah, I can go inside there. Inhale up, exhale down, give me a high five. Okay, grab those dumbbells, we're getting right into it. I have cuties playing at my feet. They always want to go where mom is. Okay, can I grab this mat, Ava? <laughs> okay, shoulder press. I'm gonna grab that. I have my lighter dumbbells. I'm going to press up and bring it down. Now we're going to, need to progress through. Yeah, we have five exercises. We're going to progress through them. And as you get towards the end, um, I'm going to add some things. So you can always resort back to shoulder press. This is the foundation. Soft knees, press up and down. Press up and down. I connect my core, press up and down. If I start to arch or if I'm hunching, my form is slacking in any way. Pick up the pace, 20 seconds, pick up the pace. Okay. If you need, alternate like this. If I'm starting to slack in form, I'm feeling some strain in my back, I'm going to modify. Okay, we're going to go to a bent over row. I'm going to grab a little bit heavier dumbbell. You can keep those 12 pounds if you want, or, the, or your lighter weight. It's a row, so we're working the back, bent over here, I'm gonna pull to up, and then release. I'll show you from the front. Yeah. Um, it says, little bear needs glasses, but dogs are not quite right. Little bear still can't see very well. Keep pulling up, my elbows go wide. My core is not just sucked in and pulled and clenched. It's just lightly connected. I pull in from the pelvic floor, connecting here, bend from the waist, check out my back, straight line. Just that cutie, can you go ask daddy to read? I, I can after I'm done with my workout. Try mine, said mouse. Thank you, said little bear. Come on, double time. Alternate, alternate. That's it. Come on, come on. We're going to that bicep curl next. And remember, we're going to add a little bit to each exercise. Okay, turn it around. So now we're pulling up and then releasing down. Pulling up and releasing down. Okay, pulling up. Working your bicep, feeling amazing. We're here with the cuties. <laughs> there is no lock. We have one of those barn doors. It was such a good idea, but there's no lock on it. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. come on in. <laughs> yeah, you are trying. <laughs> nope. I hope your kids enjoy. I always love the comments that your kids watch my kids <laughs> and they like to see them. I'm like, okay, yes. Okay, keep going, alternate bicep curl. Alternate, I'm going to just turn the camera down just a little bit so we can see each other. Hi, up close and personal. Just gonna tilt us down. But just a hair. <sighs> All right, down with our bicep curl. We're going to our chest press. Ava, can you hop off the mat real fast? You're gonna be on your back on the mat 
and you're gonna press up like you have a bench press. Okay, hop forward, because I gotta lay on it, honey. Okay, hop forward, scoop forward. Okay, you're here on your back. Roll down, so you're gonna press up and down. Good, we're going to do these same five exercises throughout the entire workout. So you're on exercise number five. Now when we get, we do 40 seconds and then we do a 20 second push. So press up and down. Okay, alternate, up and down, up and down. Control, connect from that pelvic floor. So draw in, imagine the rag picking up a marble. Keep going guys, I'm drawing in here, connecting in my core. Now when I grab my weights, make sure that I'm not straining or picking them up incorrectly. So I drop the weights, okay? We're gonna come all the way up. Let's see what our last one is. Oh, our last one is on the floor as well. So I'm gonna put down the weights and do some dips. So my fingertips are facing me. If my legs are closer to me, it's a little bit easier. The further away, it's a little bit more difficult. So we're going down and up. Down, elbows go straight back. Imagine I'm behind you and I'm pulling your arms, like your elbows straight back and up, back and up. This is exercise number five. And then we're going to that cardio burst here next. Okay, now pulse, pulse, pulse. Yeah, good job, sweetie. Pulse, 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 pulse. They like rediscovered these books because I rearranged this room and they've always been in this dress desk, but now they're out in the open. Okay, we're going to a burpee for the next minute. Can you hop off this real fast, Ava? Honey. Okay, you scoot over here, sweetie. Okay, thanks. All right, your modification is your here, kick, kick, and then go up to a plank. Okay, if you can, walk, stand up, back down, just walking this burpee. Okay, this is block number one of the five exercises. We're gonna do four, four times through, but they're, you're not even going to recognize the exercises because we had a little variety each time. All right, okay, 20 more seconds. Pick it up a little bit. Back in and up, back in and up. Moms are amazing. You figure out how to make it work. No excuses. Your time and the movement that your body is able to do is important. Okay, grab your lighter dumbbells. We're shoulder press. It's called surrender. So you're gonna kneel back, left leg, right leg, come back up, and then I come down, shoulder press. Now if you're not adding in, the surrender, then you're here, it's just the shoulder press. Good, alternate which leg leads. Good, that's it. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Just shoulder press, just press. I know I'm going a little out of the screen. I wanted you to see my, the bottom half a bit better. Another, another thing you can do with these presses is be kneeling here. Five seconds, four, three. Grab those heavier dumbbells. We're going to a row, working the back. Hey, I'm not sure, Ava. Can you go ask dad, honey? I'm leading, I'm leading my friends in a workout. Elbows back, elbows come to this side, down, side. Down. Dave is here. <laughs> I just let it happen because there was one time he had to take a test and I was in charge of keeping the kids quiet. I failed miserably. He was like, I couldn't even hear. I'm like, yeah, sorry, your job's way hard. <laughs> I have to either leave the house or else I can't do it. <laughs> okay, just upper half, upper half. Okay, make sure that back is supported by the core. Not gripping it, but it's connected. You gotta support that back. Good, upper half, upper half, three, two, one. 
bicep curl. We're gonna hammer curl. As you curl, you're going to curtsy lunge. So I curl and then I come back up. So we're working the legs with our upper body. If you want only arms, you're here. Okay, we like to add in a little something something. I wanna get your heart rate up while you're doing strength training. That's why our workouts are 30 minutes or less. They truly are. Occasionally we'll have a 40 minute Pilates workout, but truly 30 minutes is all you need. 30 minutes, five times a day, five times a day, five times a week. We try and hit that 150 minutes. Just curl, alternate curls for 20 seconds. Good. We're going to that chest press on the floor. Coming up next. Good. Let me know if you like filming in my office. It's so private, isn't it? I thought, oh, this will be great. I won't be right in the middle. Usually I do my great room, which is where everyone usually is. But who else is like me and it's wherever mom is. That's where we are. Lift your hips up. So you're connecting that pelvic floor. Those glutes are engaged as you work the chest. Good, that's it. If you wanna get a bigger range of motion, you can have your shoulder blades on one of those big exercise balls. Let me know if you wanna see workouts with those. I really, I, the equipment we use in these workouts are dumbbells. Occasionally I'll have an exercise ball or the small bands. Um, to show you exercises that you can target specific muscles with them, alternate one at a time. But mostly it's body weight and dumbbells. So you can do them while you're on vacation. You can find the specific workouts. I hope you join me for this entire series. So this series has challenging exercises. I want you to challenge yourself. We're going to those dips. So plant those weights down. Come here. My hands are here. We're gonna dip down and up. Now you can also put those hands on a chair or I'll show you here. Please don't break. <laughs> Down and up. So if my feet are further from me, it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, if you can, lift one leg. Keep that leg lifted. We'll switch to the other one on the next round. They've grown tired of my shenanigans. Switch other side. Good, 20 more seconds. Come on. Good, work the back of those arms. Like when pulling your elbows back, I don't want them to flare out. I want them to go straight back. One. Okay, we're going to that burpee. I know um, we're going fast from exercise to exercise. Going straight to that burpee. And on this round, plant back in at a jack at the top modification i can be on a bench i walk walk tap tap so if you're pregnant if you're modifying for any reason tap that out and then jack at the top burpee jack at the top burpee jack good you're almost there it's a 40 second boost catch your breath for 20 seconds before we go into ho to repeat number three. And also give me a high five. Grab a drink if you need one. Woo! We're going back to those shoulders. We're strong. I like the workouts where we focus on one body part so we can work on overload. Okay, press, and then you're going to kneel back. Now step forward. It's called surrender. Down, press. Here, I'm not arching in that back. If the weights are too heavy, or they're making me arch, get lighter weights, or drop, drop the dumbbells completely. Up, up. Tomorrow is my husband's birthday. Is that crazy? How old is he gonna be? 35. Oh, it's crazy, because we still feel like we're 20. I'm like, how, will I ever not feel like that? I think it's a good sign. Press one arm at a time for 20 seconds. It's a good sign, right? It means we still feel like we're 20. <laughs> Seriously. I'm like, oh, I'm not your age? Okay, that's just fine. <laughs> press, press, row, bent over row. 
a little bit heavier weight, your back is a larger muscle than your shoulder. Here. That's it. Good. Let's show you from this side. I care more about your form than you hitting a certain amount of reps or holding a certain amount of pounds in your dumbbells. Let's focus on form and focus on how we feel and be in tune with how you're able to execute the exercises. This is so important. You could do the same workout as another and just not kind of go through the motions, but not truly focus on the form, alternate or really get the biggest benefit from each exercise. And you're not going to see the same results as you could if you slowed down, focus on really being in tune with that execution. Up, up, good. Okay, we're gonna curl as we curtsy. Okay, curtsy to the right, and then together, curtsy to the left, and then together, not shoulder width apart. If the curtsy lunge bogs, bogs, <laughs> bugs and bothers, <laughs> if it bogs you down, if it bothers your knees, then just stick with the curl. This is an upper body focus. The next, exer the next workout in this series is legs. So if you're like, I would like to do some legs. Yeah, that's the next workout. <sighs> so just go in order of the calendar or in order on this playlist here on YouTube and you'll get it. Alternate curls. <sighs> ah, good. We're going to chest and then triceps and then our cardio burst. And then we have one more, only one more repeat. That's it. Two, one, let's go to chest. You're on your backs. Ah, oh, that like kind of popped my back. Okay, pelvic floor engaged, elbows here, press. My weights just kind of kiss. Good job. That's it. Down, up, down, up, down. I took my kids to the trampoline place. It's called Fly High. They love it. I take Ava before school, and today I had Jack pick a friend to come and Ava pick a friend to come. And it was so fun. Usually I just take the kids, alternate one arm at a time. So I have both arms up, then one drops and meets the other at the top. Don't let your hips sink. Engage the glutes again. Okay, we're going to those dips next. Now you'll feel a bigger burn if you're up on a, an elevated surface, a, such as a table or up on a chair. So grab the chair, make it work. Please don't break. <laughs> have, you, have you ever built something in your house and you're like, I don't trust that. That's me and every like table like this. <laughs> I think this one was already assembled. It's been a couple years since we got it but there's several that I'm like, oh, that's pretty wobbly. Probably because I assembled it. Those like key instructions were not too good. Oh, okay. Be careful. That's a good idea. Okay, pulls it out. I didn't lift our legs. It's okay. 15 more seconds. Come on, you can do it. You can take more than one paper, sweetie. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> burpee, burpee into a jumping jack for round number three. I'm gonna show you. So burpee, back, jumping jack, and then on the next one, it's a star jack, so you're here, okay? Burpee jack, jumping jack, star jack. Okay, modification, here. Step, step, tap, tap, knee, knee. All those options, no matter where you are in your journey. Come on, keep going. I'm jumping out of the screen. That's it. Okay, and finish. It's only 40 seconds on that cardio burst. High five, last round, last round. Last round, last round, yeah, let's do it. So we're starting with our lighter dumbbells, shoulders, 
shoulder press to surrender. Arms are up. Okay, lead with my left. Lead with my left again. Shoulder press. Lead with my right. What do you know? Good. Slow and controlled. That's it. Come on. This is your last time. Then we have my favorite dessert, abs, core. Come on. That's it. Good job. One. Okay, alternate. Press. Press. If I'm doing this, ugh. yeah, that's not good. We need lighter weight. I want my arm to work, not to strain my back. Five seconds. Okay. Time. A little bit heavier dumbbell. Working those backs with the row. I'm gonna turn my weights to hug. So I can add in a little bit of tricep. We do that as well on the dips. That's the back of your arm. I will always use common language. I feel like sometimes I would watch trainers and I'd be like, she's saying this muscle. And I'm like, where is that? I'm Googling it after class. Oh, she could have just said right here. It is good to know them, it is. Alternate, but you'll hear me call them all different things. Keep going. Core is connected. Ava's calling me. Yeah, honey? Okay, you gotta ask dad, honey, I'm doing a workout. Okay, now we're going down to the floor. Chest press, wait, wait. Lift, engage that pelvic floor and those glutes. Press up, release, press up, release, press up, release, and up, release. That's it, good. Lift those hips higher. You look good, you're doing it, you're working hard. To feel better, arms are up. I alternate one at a time, one at a time. How often do we compare ourselves to other strengths or compare ourselves to those around us? It's just, it just happens. So I want you to catch yourself and then be like, show gratitude towards that person's gift or whatever they have. And then look at what you have. Look at what you're grateful for. A grateful, like happiness is a grateful heart. I love that quote. I love it. Dips on the bench because it's so true. You can be miserable and have all the things that the world says is amazing. But if you're not grateful for them or if you're not choosing to find joy and optimism in everyday moments, you'll be miserable no matter what. So it's choosing to be grateful in any circumstance. That's how you find joy. That's how you bring positive energy. Pulse, pulse, back of those arms. Hallelujah. Okay, now we're going to that cardio burst for one final time. We're going to do burpee, jack, star jump, tuck jump. I will show you and then we'll get to it. Now modification I will show first. Keep going. Oh, time. Modification is here. Tap, tap, jack, jack, knee, knee. Same as last time, okay? If you're going with me to the floor, it is down. Jack, star, tuck, jump, okay? Now, now I wanna land soft, star, tuck, jump. Land soft, down, burn it out. That's it. If you're getting confused, me too. This is the final, it's the final countdown. Yeah. I'm back at the trampoline place. Yeah. Not as bouncy on this floor. We're done. Oh, high five, way to go. It's very bright right here. I have a window, lights, you guys are shining. Catch your breath. Ooh. Feeling good. You guys feeling good? Me too. 
I have one more minute. I must have missed something. Do you guys know which one I missed? Did we do our curl curtsy? We didn't. At least I remembered. <laughs> Bicep curl curtsy. I had one more minute. Couldn't remember what we missed. That's it. Hey, look at the bright side. You're done with your cardio, which was wicked hard. Are you done? Working those biceps right here in front of that arm. Oh, stand, alternate. Now, if your weights are not heavier, or you're not really straining, lift both arms at the same time. Go with what you're working with today. Keep going. I've been able to see changes in my strength and in, in toning by doing these type of workouts where we overload a certain muscle group, like upper body. Shake it out, give me a high five. Also, going outside my comfort zone using heavier dumbbells and having those cardio bursts, it's gonna burn fat, boost metabolism, and give you the most amazing mood, like the most amazing. So let's go to dessert. Let's jump into some core. I'm just gonna use my stopwatch on my um, watch and we'll get started. Okay, you're on your backs. We're gonna go bicycle. Actually, it's leg drops. I'll take you through a series. Now, if you haven't checked out my postnatal series, we go through diastasis recti safe exercises. I'll also cue and coach you on these in these workouts. So you could show up to this workout and get a little bit of that education. So one leg drops is they exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Watch the progression. Leg is straight and then inhale, exhale, inhale. Now, if you're able to lift this upper half tennis ball here and I drop as I exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now I'm going to twist to the bent leg. Exhale, inhale, good. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale. We've almost been in our house for one year and it's been so fun. The basement is not finished. <laughs> the kids run wild there. It's still snow outside, it's still a little cold, but we are starting to go for walks. We've gone skiing, We've done all the fun things. I just got back, if you are from Utah or if you've heard of the Parade of Homes in Southern Utah, we just got back from them. And you walk through these just amazing, like beautiful houses. And it's just fun to experience. I think that it would be very easy to compare and say, I want that, that's beautiful. But most of all, I felt inspired with others' creativity. I just thought it was so amazing. Okay, you're gonna release, you're gonna grab. It's a double tug, tug, tug. Now switch, tug, tug. So I exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now, you're gonna hold your legs here Arms are down, I'm gonna come across, repeat it. Now modification is here. I have my foot on the floor and I come across. If I'm not crunching today, I'm holding here and I do not crunch if I'm healing diastasis recti. So I'm here if I'm healing, okay? So those are your options. Do not beat yourself up or say, I can't do this. It's all a journey. Kai is almost one. So I have almost been one year since I had a C-section and I still modify and I still take my time to build up that strength. Big switch, other side. <sighs> Exhale as you curl <sighs> across. And you know why? Because this is a lifestyle. It's not a quick fix. It's not a get my body back. It's not I have to lose weight for a wedding. It's I want to feel good and be ready for anything, anytime. I want like... Tomorrow let's book a trip to Hawaii and I feel confident and comfortable in a swimsuit. I just want to have, not because I look a certain way, because I feel good, feel good. Okay, release, double leg extension. You're gonna tuck those legs in. Modification is I exhale as I, my legs go more um, 
perpendicular to the floor. So they're more at a 90 degree angle. Now to test the waters, I lift that upper half, tennis ball. I exhale here, inhale here. If you wanna join us for an entire Pilates workout, please do. I discovered Pilates pelvic floor deep core exercises after having my first baby. So I have three, I have a six year old, a four year old, and almost a one year old. And seriously, it was a game changer. I was like, oh my goodness. I don't have to pee my pants. Like I was at the trampoline park. That's where there's trampolines all over the floor today. And I'm just jumping and chasing the kids. Whereas I probably wouldn't be able to do that six months ago, <laughs> seven months ago, I wouldn't be comfortable. So I've been building up that pelvic floor strength through pregnancy and postpartum. And it continues. Exhale, inhale. Okay, rock side to side. That's it. Let's stretch you out. Left leg in, right leg straight. Nice work. Leg goes straight up behind the thigh if you need. That's it. You did such a good job. I'm so proud of you. I hope you that, that quote resonates with you. Happiness is a grateful heart. Do you start your day with gratitude? A goal of mine is to start a gratitude journal. I'm terrible at journaling. I shouldn't say that because I'm trying to improve, but pulling that body across, shoulder blades are on the floor. Okay, come back to the center, switch, other leg pulled in. But I do every morning, I say a prayer and I always say what I'm grateful for. Um, either when I'm going to bed or in the morning, I just wanna start physically writing it down because I think that when my kids are old and grown, I think it's gonna be like, I wanna just read about life when they were little. Cause I feel like it's, it goes so fast. I love this season, but it just goes by so fast. Kai got to join the girls trip. It was Kai and all the girls. Um, and they were all adults. It was my sister-in-laws and my mother-in-law that went to the parade of homes. <laughs> he just was so cute. It was about a five hour drive and he's just squawking. Squawk, squawk, squawk. <laughs> Lift those hips up, interlock those hands, open up that chest. Good. Ah. Okay, let's do a couple arm stretches here to finish off and then send you on your way. Left arm across, shoulder stretch, circle that wrist. Okay, open up. So our exercises are all interval training, so they're timed. Um, I don't do the exercise to the music. Sometimes we'll do that with a warm up here and there, um, but they're interval style. We use dumbbells, scratch your back, press that hand back. They're perfect for moms with busy kids when you're limited on time, but you really need to take that time and wanna take that time. Switch other arm, tricep stretch to feel better, to move your body, to boost your, not your, just your body, but your mind. I, that's always my goal is to also leave you with a message that inspires you and leaves you motivated to be a better version of yourself. Quad stretch, knees are down. Also, I think we can relate on a lot of levels. I am not perfect. I make mistakes. Sometimes I yell, sometimes I get frustrated. And you know what? I think it's a great chance for me to show and model for my kids. I can say sorry, I can apologize. Mom's not perfect, I make mistakes. Hands come down here, hips are high, downward dog. How intimidating or unrelatable would it be if actually, <laughs> I know that the key example is Jesus Christ and he is perfect. I was just gonna say unrelatable, but I think he's very relatable because he's so compassionate and we're always trying to be more like him. Switch one at a time. I guess if I were to pretend like I was perfect, that would not be relatable because I'm not. Okay, down to that child's pose. Upward dog, chest comes up. This is a fun room to record in. I hope you had a great time with me here in the office. I film a lot of my YouTube videos on my other channel, um, which is just titled Nancy Taylor. That's where I started on YouTube, fell in love with it. Now I coach others on YouTube and I wanted to create this channel to help 
at home moms, like moms to create a lifestyle and habits that serve you and boost you and allow you to be the best version of yourself. So that's why we're here. I hope that you had a great time. Check out this entire series. There's 20 workouts in it. They have challenging exercises, but I always, always show modifications. So you're always welcome.